Last week, the British government bombed Yemen. In the dead of night on Wednesday the 11th of January, without parliamentary approval, process or accountability, Rishi Sunak agreed to join US-led airstrikes. These strikes claim the government will restore stability to the Middle East. The truth though is this is a dangerous escalation by a government clinging to power. For three months, Britain has been steadfast in its support for Israel as it wages war on the people of Gaza. More than 30,000 Palestinians are likely dead. Israel is in the dock at the International Court of Justice charged with genocide. But rather than call for a ceasefire in Gaza, Britain and the US favour more bombs. Britain, of course, is no stranger to Yemen, having colonised parts of the country for well over a century up until 1967. In 2014, when the Yemeni civil war broke out half a century after decolonisation, the British government was quick to offer their unflinching support to the Saudi-led coalition. British bombs have been falling on Yemen since then. Just one British arms company, BAE Systems, has sold 17.6 billion pounds worth of arms and military services to the Saudi dictatorship since 2015. One company employee told Channel 4 that if we weren't there within 7 to 14 days there wouldn't be a jet in the sky. By the end of 2021 this war had claimed 150,000 lives. Far more however had died as a consequence of the famine and humanitarian crisis that followed the bombing campaign. 9,000 civilians had been directly targeted and killed by the Saudi coalition, a practice which the UN says is widespread and systematic. These are the crimes in which Britain is complicit. In March 2015, as bombs rained down on Yemen, then Foreign Secretary Philip Hammond said the British would support the Saudis in every practical way short of engaging in combat. Now this nation, ravaged by British bombs, is being targeted directly. They'll never learn. They'll never learn from Iraq or Afghanistan, Libya or Syria. That British intervention, blindly following the US, brings anything but stability. On Sunday, Lord Cameron hinted at further airstrikes in Yemen. Britain is prepared to back up words with actions, said the Foreign Secretary. Just as thousands have taken to the streets to say free Palestine, we must too say hands off Yemen.